Having gone ahead to win one out of their previous seven games, Arsenal have gone ahead, obviously, to concentrate on to the latest fitness build-up down in Dubai. To see either by the time they return to the Premier League, they'll be up and running and ready to obviously face every force that is going to stand in their way. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. This is the Arsenal News Show. I think it has been really long since we last had a video that we are going to be speaking about Arsenal alone. But today I've decided that Sunday morning I started up with this Arsenal news show as i call upon you guys to smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily and we thank god for the gift of life those that are really going to church may lord lead your way and may him protect you back home and the muslims barak fikum and those praying from home god is everywhere right so Let's see close to 200 likes, smash on this video as we get into this. Now, today is the 14th of January, you know, 2024, and a lot has been happening in the night that has led to this morning. For example, Chelsea beat Fulham by one go to nil. Carl Palmer found himself on target for the ninth time in 17 Premier League games for the side of Chelsea. Then we had another goal at um, at uh, Newcastle, leading Man City by two goals to one. Kevin De Bruyne came in, came in, came, th came through from the bench, scored an equalizer, and really found an assist for Bob, who went ahead to score the winner. So those are the two games that we went ahead to be played in the Premier League. And today we are having a big one: Manchester United versus Tottenham Hotspur. And very many others. The African Cup of Nations started yesterday night. Cote d'Ivoire beat Guinea Bissau by two goals to nil. And today we are having Nigeria um, in action. Ghana is in action, and Egypt is also in action. So you will see Mohamed Kudus, uh, Mohamed Salah, Victor Osman all in action tonight. And on this channel, I promise you that I'm gonna really bring you. I'm gonna be bringing you these Afcon updates as I did to really bring you the latest information as far as the game of. Ivory Coast and Jin Bissau was concerned. So let's go to let's go to Dubai, right? Let's go to Dubai and see how everything is really panning out at <clears throat> at the training session of Arsenal. You know, sometimes you need what we call a rest to be out of your country, go to a certain different kind of place altogether, refresh your mind, and then come back as a very refreshed person. This was done so much by Salex Ferguson, by the way, because Salex Ferguson. Went ahead, obviously, sent Cristiano Ronaldo away for a month when things were not going well. He told him, go back to Portugal after one month, get back. He did the same thing to Wayne Rooney and very many other players at the club of Man United. Eric Ten Hag did it to Sancho, three months away from Manchester, and when he returned, a lot changed in his life. Though later, they really broke off. And uh, this time around, with the poor performances that Arsenal have been really exhibiting on the field of play, Ateta decided and Edu to sit is they try out a different atmosphere altogether. And I think the relief and the most important bit of it all is Arsenal is doing the best to see to it that the fitness levels get back to where they deserve to be, rest and forget about the previous seven games where they've gonna hit to win only one and focus on to the next fixtures. And allow me to throw you into what is happening down in Dubai for the, I think they traveled on Tuesday, right? Today is Sunday. So they've now gonna have to spend close to five days in Dubai and they are soon returning back to England. And I think at the start of the week, they might be traveling back to England, get some rest for like one or two days. And Wednesday, they'll be back into London Colony Training Facility to obviously get themselves where they deserve to be. Now, this is Edin Ketia and Gabriel Martinelli trying to obviously get themselves into the green grass to obviously step up their fitness levels. But this should be a very, very, very huge occasion and chance for Martinelli to rediscover himself. He's really been playing badly for the club of Arsenal and a lot needs to obviously change if at all Arsenal needs to do the needful. Remember, Arsenal might not even go into bringing him a wide forward, meaning that he's trusting the players he's having at Arsenal to do him the job. That is Mikel Ateta and he needs obviously to really reflect out on that a lot. That is Benjamin White, one of those players that is really not that that exact right back that Arsenal should be having because Arsenal should be having a right back in the levels of um, Trent Alexander-Arnold, 
Rich James, you know, uh, Diego Dallo, such people, you know, Carl Walker, you know, Rico Lawrence of this world, you know, Joshua Kimmich, and very many others, depending on what you really know about him. But he was also stepping onto the green grass. This is Mikel Ateta and his assistant coming in through to obviously try to conduct the training session where they're focusing so much on building on the physicality, fitness, and improving on the tactics as they return to the Premier League. Then Nwaneri and Shows Dwabri obviously stepping onto the training ground as these two are really some of those academic graduates that Ateta is here to introduce into the team of Arsenal. And by the way, there is one thing that Ateta is not going to hate to do very well. You know, you cannot name your player that Ateta is going to hate to usher into the first team that we had not seen that we had not seen in the previous regime. Martinelli, we saw him. MD Smith Rowe, we saw him. Bukayo Saka, we saw him. Now, I just can't wait to see him getting in a player from the academy. I think he brought in Sir, Ju Sir is it Sir Go Jr. Yeah, I want to see Nwaneri coming in. We gave him a debut, but ever since then, the rest is history. But I've seen teams like Man United bring on Ganacho from the academy, and he's now a starter. Kobe Menu, Marcus Rashford, Scott McTominay, um, Kambuala, you know, Hannibal, and very many others. But under Mikel Ateta, for the four years, has been at Arsenal. I think we want to see these young talents coming in from us. The Patinos came in through. They loaned them to to the championship and now they want to be sold to Juventus, right? So, I want to see a player coming in from the Academy of Arsenal trying to get into the starting eleven, right? I think that is one of the biggest duties that Mikel Ateta has not gone ahead to be done. And by the very moment, I've gone ahead not to really give it a lot of concern, but it's really concerning. But those two are really talented. Ress Nelson, one of those players that are not getting enough playing time, and I think in the summer, he might be pushing with his agent to leave the side of Arsenal. That is it. And I think Arsenal did it deliberately to give him a new contract that he wanted and they promised him enough playing time but they need to eat that if we let him go on a free we are going to lose out some good money now they are having him tied on a long contract and they can get like 30 million pounds from this lad and they can even put in a clause of a buyback clause and a sell on clause percentage so that is rest nelson one of the players that i think is unhappy at the club of arsenal david raya um aaron ramsdale Carl Hayne and the other goalkeeper, I don't know his name, but those are the three that I'm going to hate to see their faces. But this was the goalkeeping department of Arsenal taking part into the training session in Dubai. This is Declan Rice doing the needful to obviously test his fitness levels down in Dubai. And um, this is Gabriel Magales obviously trying to stretch with weights onto his hands. That is Gabriel Magalis. This is Mikel Ateta having a word with Edu and they are really friends and um, I think there is um, a very huge a very huge discussion going on in between Edu and Ateta on what they should do as far as this winter transfer window is really concerned. To me, if Arsenal are serious, that they want to obviously get in and obviously get us or get themselves a trophy, then they have to do one thing. They have to get. They have to get in players, one or two, you know, to give a lot of backup to their side. But they've been having a chat in Dubai as far as their winter plan is concerned and how the training session are obviously going on. Then Odegaard obviously holding his chain in disbelief. I don't know what was really running in his head, but it's a photo of focus right it's a photo of pure pure focus then this is Ress nelson obviously the other one is walters i think in the training session down in dubai ateta looking on to his players and obviously doing the needful then gabriel magales and uh, bokayo saka martinelli in the more clear picture these two are really in a fainted picture then this is Ress nelson right doing the needful during the training session this is bokayo saka was like was doing press ups at the training ground in dubai then ben white and leandro trossard taking on the urge you know to obviously get ready for their next premier league game now emily smith rowey going through um cedric soares and um Ress nelson you know and he's one of those players that if Arsenal is really not to sign a player 
in the winter transfer window, he should step up. He should step up and get himself back to the levels we've known him out for a very long time. Then, Shodbury and Trossard, obviously trying to really tussle it out. Benjamin White and Declan Rice tussling it out during training. Um, Odegaard charged up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Charged up in Dubai. Then Gabriel Magales and Declan Rice looks like they're on the same side and they're all smiles. Yo, you understand? Then Bukayo Saka, you know, in Dubai trying to get back to the levels it is having to be. And this guy needs to raise up. I really understand that most players switch on in the second half of the season. And if I told Martinelli and Saka switch on in the second half of the season, then they are going to win Arsenal very many games and they're going to be very pivotal in Arsenal's competing for the league. Because right now, Man City has gone ahead to obviously win their game in hand and they are three points ahead of Arsenal, two points behind Liverpool. So, both, all of those two teams, all those teams have gone ahead to play 20 games now. So, they really need to get the best out of what they are doing. Then, Gabriel Magales looks like he was really on the groove with Benjamin White, sorry, with Declan Rice during the training session down in Dubai. And this was the winning team of the day. Res Nelson, Cedric Soares, Leandro Trossard, Carl Hain, um, Gabriel Magales, and Declan Rice. Hall trying to obviously charge up for the day in there for you. Then that is it. And how that's how everything really happened down in Dubai as Arsenal went ahead to obviously train and 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 train. And train. To see to it that they obviously get ready for their fixtures. When you look at the Arsenal fixtures, when they return, they are going to play, I think it's Wolverhampton Wanderers. Let me be clear on it. They are playing um, Crystal Palace on the 20th. That is next Saturday, you know, 15, 30 hours. And then after that, um, 10 days later, they'll play away at Nottingham Forest. That is the city ground. Then on the 4th of February, Arsenal will host Liverpool at the Emirates. It's coming too soon. It's like a month after losing to Liverpool that knocked them out of the FA Cup. Then, 11th February, West Ham are going to play Arsenal at the London Stadium. Remember, West Ham knocked out Arsenal from the Carabao Cup and they went ahead to beat them at the Emirates in the Premier League 2-0. Burnley will host Arsenal on the 17th of February. And Arsenal will play away at FC Porto 21st February in the Champions League. Then 24th February, Arsenal will host Newcastle at the Yemere Stadium. Those are the next fixtures of Arsenal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. From the 20th of January to the 24th of January of, of Feb, they're going to be having seven games to play and wait and see how Arsenal will execute those games and see how things will pan out. Your thoughts on Arsenal's latest fitness build-up in Dubai updates are welcome in the comment section below. Rock and David remains my name. The Christians, may the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims, Barak Laufikum, we out.